Well, in case you don't follow this ball club too closely, Cedric Mullins is being talked about maybe as a player to watch this year, guys. He sure is, Matty V. Even though he's already looking like a key contributor, he's still a young player. But most people around this organization just think he's going to keep getting better and better. I agree with you, Dan. I think he can actually take a leap forward in his development this season. He can make a big difference for this team. I'm excited to watch him play live in this one and see what he's got. Outfielder Steven Piscotti, that the next third. to hit, his the lifetime right line against Andrew Steven. Kashner. He's gone just Piscotti. two for 13. High in the air out to center field. Mullins is there. And that's the third out. So not much happening here in the top half of the first. The Orioles do up in the first. At the plate, Cedric Mullins. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half Leading of the first. For the Orioles, the center fielder, number three. Now the pitch. Strike one to start the at-bat. And Dan Dero, these A's as they begin play here this afternoon. They come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've brought five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Matty, these players got in their cars today to drive to the stadium, focused on one thing, not who was going to be the hero, just the fact that they needed a W and that one of their teammates, whether it's them or someone else, has to come up with a big knock. Now a moment here in Baltimore for the Orioles starting lineup. Danny, any thoughts? Here's Jerickson Profar. Two's all over the Batting place. Eight. Two on, two the out, and of course, eight. here in inning Jerickson. number two. Profar. Ready with the one, two. Pulled toward right center field. Mullins on the move. He can't get there as it falls in. A run in. Here's a second runner around third. And it's not in time. He's safe as they take the lead with two runs scoring on the play. Usually a hitter will shorten his swing with two outs, but not this. At the plate, Cedric Albert. Mullins. 0 for Number 1 for three. him here in this one. He's set and the pitch. There's a strike with the breaking ball. Now a throw over and he'll dive back in. is put in play to the right side of the infield. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Coming to the plate now, Hanser Alberto. Now two back. on, two Second out for him here in the third. Hanser Alberto. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. Throw on to first is going to be in time, and the Oriole threat goes by the wayside as the inning is over. Orioles strand a couple. They're down two to nothing. So stepping in, Cedric Mullins, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch of the at bat. Now a first pitch curveball floats a bit high that time. It's a ball and no strikes. His approach to the plate right here has to be to the right side. If he gets it through the infield, that tying run might come around, but at the very least, that would get the runner to third with less than two outs. Lays off again, and it's 2-0. and oh. Clearly staying away from him in this at-bat with that runner in scoring position tells me they're trying to force him to reach for something and maybe roll over on it. 2 0 count, the pitch. Yanked on the ground down the line. But this will get foul, 2 and 1. And now the runner's trying for third. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at 2 and 2. The 2-2. Two -two. 
Got him swinging in the dirt. Up with it, Fegley. But it's not in time, and he'll reach first despite going down on strikes. So good awareness that time as that'll go as a strikeout, but he's aboard on the drop third strike. Now batting, second base. And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Martini has it and I'd be surprised if they send the runner and that one just not deep enough so they'll wisely hold him at third with one out in the inning now. The left fielder, number 23. Stepping into the box, Joey, Joey Rickard. He's been hit by a pitch Richard. and walked in the game thus far. He's running. Swing and a miss. Strike three. The throw. A tag. And he is out at second base. And a costly decision there is it's a double play turn to retire the side. So it's a runner at first with two now men out. And that'll bring the up the catcher, Josh Fegley. Josh. Fegley. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Smith is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. One left for Oakland as they're unable to add. Nick Martini the next to hit. Now He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The one two. Pulled toward right center field. Calling for it. Mullins. He's got it and there are two down now. So a pivotal moment here and digging Number in now, three. Cedric Mullins. And he does so representing the possible go-ahead run. He's set. Here it comes. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. As a hitter right here, you have to tell yourself, I can't get too big. Don't let the moment get away from me. A nice bullet in the gap gets the job done in this situation. And again, a throw, keeping particularly close tabs on him. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. 0-2, here it comes. A two-seamer there as this is fouled off to the left side. Now another 0-2. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. You know, that almost works like a pitch out there. Maybe you get the guy to chase out of the zone, but at the very least, it gives the catcher something good to throw if the man on first is on the move. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. I know he fouled that pitch off right there, but he was definitely out in front. He was cheating to a heater, no question about it. Two and two the count. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. There's a line drive, and that's going to get down. And now how far will they send that man from first? So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second yeah, base. A second shot to the base. outfield scores him. Oh, then who knows what kind of roll they can oh, get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. High in the air out towards shallow right. Piscotti's there for it. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the tying run in scoring position. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Well, with a chance to reflect on this one, Mullins turned in a nice performance at the plate, guys. Yeah, no doubt. We mentioned earlier how important he is to this club. It's contributions like this one today, if turned in consistently over the long haul, can really have a huge impact on this ball club, assuming everyone else is holding up their end of the bargain. I look forward to seeing some more of the same from him in the future, and I know they do as well.
have just joined us, we're in a tightly contested matchup of division rivals that may be headed for a good conclusion. Heidi, tell us more about what's at stake here. Well, these players know there is no better way for a club to help its own cause than by beating a division rival. I know it is early in the season, but the competitive intensity down here is palpable. These teams don't like each other. Whichever one prevails in this close game is likely going to walk away with a bounce in their step. And they'll have to finish strong here if they're going to get that done. Thanks, Heidi. Leading off for Baltimore. Rio the Ruiz to the plate now. Rio One for two with Ruiz. a double on his line thus far. Ah. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. <laughs> on its way, the 0-1 pitch. A bouncer up the middle. Adamas brings it in. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Up next for the Orioles. Ready for another Dwight shot Fielder. now. Dwight Smith Dwight. Jr. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. First offering on its way. First pitch is a sinker too low, 1-0. Action in the Rays' pen now as they've got a lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. The 1-0 home is taken below the zone for a ball. We're starting to see a lot more balls from him now, and that's a direct result of him getting hit around pretty good. He's trying to do something different, and it's resulting in him not attacking the strike zone anymore. The count now at two and one. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. Hey, he caught him off guard right there. I like that pitch. High fastball executed. I know he's known for the sinker ball, but if he can get some eye levels up and down, He's going to have some success. And he'll put this away for the second out. The catcher, number four. Standing in, Jesus Eight Sucre. He doubled Eight earlier and carries a two-for-two two line into this appearance. First pitch coming. Here it is. Sinker to open the A-B in there for strike one. 4-4 four, four is our score as we play the sixth. A bouncer to the left side. Duffy is up with it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Through five and a half, we're tied. At Stepping up to the plate, Willie Adamas. And he was up. retired Wilderay. after popping out That's in his last stop. at bat. Willie. And now That's pitch on the way. Hey. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. Love that pitch right there, and he executed it perfectly. A big arcing curveball that starts at the batter's hip and then just bends onto the inside corner. A lot of hitters have a tendency to open up way too early, and they can't make good contact on that pitch. Curveball got him swinging for the first down. I think that curveball is a big reason why he's able to turn oh, things that's... around in this start after a rough beginning. Right. It's got some good bite to it. So that tells me he's doing a nice job of snapping it off out front. Really finishing that pitch like you're supposed to. Mike Zanino comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And he's finding new life out there in the sixth yeah. inning as this okay. is swung on and missed. It's 0-2 now. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. Six pitches, two strikeouts in the inning. Hard to beat that. And the beyond fielder. that, he has to Off feel there. good about the way the curveball is coming out of his hand. That was a nasty looking pitch. Into the box now, Austin Meadows. As he'll take a look at ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. A ball and a strike. I'll tell you, if I'm pitching right now, I'm not throwing anything near the strike zone until these guys prove they can lay off it. They're just being way too aggressive. Two and one to the Rays leadoff batter. Fastball just inside. Tommy Pham would be next. Called a strike and it's full three and two. 
very pretty good. adamant about working him inside right now. Back-to-back -back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Your Brian Stanek is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start right. inning number seven. Number 55. Ready now, number one. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. From the stretch. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 1. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. After that slider away, he must have set his sights out there because he took that fastball in like he had no chance. A ball and two strikes to the Orioles shortstop. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot, and he just gave a stone-cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box, no doubt about it. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All number he wants three. to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. First delivery to him on the way. Chopper foul. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. That straight smoke at 99, guys. It's almost unfair. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And a check swing here. Appeal down to third. But Matthew Ross says he held up ball one. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Four runs, eight hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems now for him it. on the mound since he's the come out of the pen to start this inning. Hunter. That's back-to-back -back Alberto. K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Fastball well outside. All knotted up. 4 4 the score here in the seventh. Swing and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep, and you can forget about it. This ball is. So a solo shot down the line in left. Second home run early in the year as they will take the lead here. It's now a 5-4 ball game. As soon as this thing left the bat, you knew it had the distance to get out of here. The only question was whether it was going to stay fair or not. And that question was answered with a resounding doink as it caromed off the Ray. foul pole for a homer. Mancini. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1 0 home. Mine to the right side. That gets down, and the inning continues. So the two out base hit, and the top of the inning is still alive. Pitcher went to the well one too many times. Oh, back to back fastballs. Hitter was able to keep his hands through, deliver a nice line drive. Here's Mark Trumbo now. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. A hit in two tries for him so far. Now a ground ball and a chance for Adamas at short. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. It is stretch time here in Tampa. 
into the box now. And leading off for the Rays. This thing's far North from Fielder. over, even though we're moving Nobby. into the back end of this game. Only yeah. down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy and an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Ball five. Now gets the call from the pen to take over Number on the mound and start the home seven. Oh. Here's the first pitch to him. Eight. Strike taken up in the zone. To me, getting ahead 0-1, it, it's the most important pitch in the game, Matty. I, it puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1-0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1-1. When you're down 0-1, your head's on a swivel. And it's fouled away. The 0-2 once more. Is swung on and missed. He got him. One out now in the Tampa Bay seventh, up and that brings Tampa up Bay. the corner infielder G-Man Choi. G-Man first Joy. offering on its way. First pitch fastball swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Little hesitation right there by the batter. It was great execution by the pitcher down and away. But that looked like a late swing. Could have been sitting on something else. One ball, one strike. The count. Now the one and one pitch misses for the second ball. When you've got a guy that throws a good two seam fastball you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. Three and one to him now. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. So a runner at first now with one away. And digging in next will be Joey Wendell. Runners off for second. But gloved by the third baseman for the out. Now a throw to first. Doubles up the runner. Tough luck that time as he got stuck in no man's land following the line drive on the hit run. Adam Kolarik is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Leading off the inning, Chris Davis as they'll look for some. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line and left. And the eighth will start with a bang as this should be extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. When you're leading by one run, you want to do that. everything you can first to eight. add to the lead and give your Yo. bullpen a little breathing mm -hmm. room. It makes a big difference. So double here goes a long way towards making that a real possibility. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that's in there for strike one. This has to be a productive at bat right here. I know you want to drive the run in and get the RBI, but you have to find a way, bare minimum, to move this runner over to third. That's the ball. And that misses one and one. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1. But now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. A swing and a miss on the ball way out of the zone and there's one away. Now at the plate, Dwight now Smith bat. Jr. Two hits right and three at bats for him Dwight in this one. Smith Jr. First pitch of the at bat. A swing and a liner to left center field, and that's going to drop in for a base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Well, talk about having a pretty special game. That's his third single of the game, D. Rowe. Three for four, not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher's giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning a little bit. Nice execution. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. 
Ground ball sent back up the middle. The second for run. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So no runs on two hits. No errors. Now batting. Matt. And leading off for the Rays. The third baseman, Richard Blyer, Matt. will come on and make Chelsea. his fourth appearance Your in this campaign. Please. Now pitching for Baltimore. Number 48. Richard. First Blyer. offering on its way. Hey. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Mancini has it in his tracks. One down. Now batting. Number eight. Stepping in, Brandon Lowe. First pitch on its way. Sinker to open the A-B in there for strike one. Lifted the other way out to left center. Moving under it, Mullins. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Abisail Garcia You're will pinch hit please. here, and he's the potential tying the run. Number 24, Abisail Garcia. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Raids. Still down a run, it's 5 to 4. Abisail Garcia will stay in the ballgame as he takes over in center. Now playing center field. First pitch coming, here it is. Soft liner to the right side, and he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Now battle. Ready Number now for three. Baltimore, Cedric Mullins. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Really deceptive changeup there. Very well executed. It looks like it just sort of dies when it gets close to the plate. Uh, no plate discipline that time, and he's in the hole now, 0 and 2. Hey, I get it. You're all in fastball. You're pulling the trigger at almost anything. That is way too high. He's going to have to lower his sights. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Hanser Alberto will stand in to try it again already with one home run in the ball game. And on cue, there it was back in the seventh inning. A solo shot that provided quite a spark for these guys. In there at the knees, strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Line drive to center field. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. So the top of the ninth keeps a rolling as he comes through with two away. Now batting. So the coming to the plate, Trey Mancini. Trey. Two hits in Mancini. four attempts to this point. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And this is taken outside for ball one. That's what makes pitching so difficult. You get the first two guys out of the inning. Then you give up that two-out base hit. Now you have the middle part of the order coming up, and this is where you have to really refocus on that mound, stay out of a potential big inning. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now.
the one two is offered at and missed he chased it for strike three so it's no runs on a hit up next for the Rays. and leading off for the Rays, the shortstop Michael Givens really? if the man I've called on it. to close this You're one and earn a complete. save in the ninth now pitching for the Orioles number 60 Michael Givens. and now pitch on the way and here's a fastball called for strike one. That's one and one. So Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. The count now at two and two. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. When your closer comes in and strikes out the first guy he faces, oh, for Tampa everyone Bay. on the team can kind of take a deep breath. Mike. Still have two more outs to get, but Ooh, retiring that leadoff guy, it's always huge when you're trying to shut a game down. Ball one to start the at-bat. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Fastball at 96 on the radar gun, and it's one and one. And a slider misses here. Two balls and a strike. Now the 2-1 pitch. Takes a pitch for strike number two. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Up next for Tampa Bay. So Tampa's batting order turns over and set to go. Austin Meadows. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Slider gets the outside. That's a strike. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Tampa down to their final strike in this one. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Fans on their feet in a one-run ball game in the last of the ninth. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Mullins sprinting after it, and he tracks it down. And this ball game is over. Man, d -Roll, that was a huge win for this club as they're able to pick up a key game on a division rival. No doubt, Dan. There's no better way to...